three new models of the advanced medium combat aircraft. India's fifth generation concept advanced medium combat aircraft, AMCA, is being built in Bengaluru. The advanced medium combat aircraft team has three new models on display at Aero India 2017. The model will undergo a series of rigorous tests at an RCS facility in Hyderabad where the program team will have its first chance at seeing how the shape they've chosen for the jet deals with radiation. The exercise will be historic, because it will be the first time India will be specifically testing a stealth airframe. Chief at the Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, met with live fist at the Aero India show for a chat on the program. This will be our first big learning process. We need to be sure about the conformal antennas and shapes before we finalize the airframe, he says. Another very crucial application the team plans to bring into play is computational electromagnetics, to simulate in parallel how the concept jet deals with radar and other assaults built to beat stealth. About 60 to 70 percent of the stealth we intend will come from the aircraft's shape. The rest we are discovering as we develop the aircraft. Nothing like this has ever been attempted before, Chief Aeronautical Development Agency says. An advanced medium combat aircraft model debuted at Aero India 2009, the first time anyone got a sense of what the Aeronautical Development Agency was looking to build. The team at Aeronautical Development Agency expects full-scale engineering development till the prototype stage to take at least a decade. Live Fist also learned that the team now has a specific time frame for a first flight, 2030, with low-rate production to begin in 2035. If you consider that the LCA MK1 will be built till 2024 and the LCA MK2, when ordered, should be built between 2030-35, then 2035 is good target for production of the advanced medium combat aircraft, Chief Aeronautical Development Agency says. Until the LCA Tejas arrived. India had lacked a locally built jet fighter since the 1970s when it had the HAL Merit and HAL Nat. Both were excellent fighters, especially the HAL Nat, which was a scare word in the Pakistan Air Force, but were retired quickly because the Indian Air Force wanted to only import foreign fighters. India thus lost development continuity. This blunder must not be repeated because air power in the 21st century will reflect India's manufacturing strength. With warplanes growing in complexity and costs, and hostile stealth aircraft about to debut in India's neighborhood, imports are certainly not an option. India has a steep learning in stealth fighter development now. In this backdrop, the knowledge gained from the FGFA will help India in the indigenous advanced medium combat aircraft. To be sure, Indian scientists haven't gained much hands-on experience in the project Pak FAT-50 is a fairly mature aircraft for India to get substantial work share. In fact, Russian thrust vectoring expertise and stealth technology will play a key role in shaping India's future advanced medium combat aircraft. However, India's workshare will gradually increase as local engineers and scientists gain experience in the concurrent advanced medium combat aircraft and FGFA projects. According to Igor Korachenko, Head of the Moscow based Center for Analysis of Global Arms Trade, Russia will certainly provide all necessary knowledge and logistics support to Indian specialists. But developing skills and acquiring experience in design and development of advanced fighter aircraft takes a long time and substantial effort. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.